is up guys, it is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally, finally going to be doing a project that I've been waiting to do for a very long time. And that is upgrading Hoku from his current 29 gallon to a 40 gallon breeder. I've been saying that this is gonna happen for a long time. So now it's finally happening and I'm super duper excited. I'm not really so much going to be walking you through how I'm doing it and like how to set up a turtle tank because I've done that type of video before. Really, I just wanna get this done as quickly and efficiently as possible and you guys are just gonna come along for the ride and watch it all come together. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell if you haven't already. I make turtle content, pet content, fun videos like this every single Friday and you don't wanna miss out. So subscribe, join the fam, and with that, let's get started. All right, so first first thing I'm gonna do is I have to take Nemo out, so let's do that. Come here. Oh my gosh, I just called him Nemo. I just realized that was really bad. Come here, little buddy. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in a little separate container while we get this all done. Gotta make sure we're unplugging everything. Now time for the fun part, we get to empty all of the water out of the tank so that it can be moved off and we can put in the new one. So we finally got the tank onto the stand. For whatever reason, it's really, really stupid. This tank actually does not fit on the inside of this stand, but I mean, it can hold the weight as long as it's evenly distributed, supposedly. So we just cut a piece of plywood to evenly distribute it. There's also another piece of plywood underneath here so that it's fully distributed and that should be able to hold the tank. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the substrate. And for substrate today, we are using crushed coral because Hoku is actually a diamondback terrapin. So they can actually eat this and use this to wear down their crush plate. It almost has the consistency of a like grainier sand. There's also some bigger pieces that are gravel sized in there. But because he's a diamondback terrapin and actually able to crush it with his mouth, if he does choose to eat it, then he'll be just fine. So that's why we're using crushed coral. Now obviously I did rinse this before I'm putting it in here because crushed coral can be very, very, very dusty. And if you don't rinse it, it'll make your wadi, wadi? It'll make your water really, really cloudy. So I definitely rinse this before I'm putting this in the tank. So now we have all of the decorations that we're gonna go ahead and put in. I did get this new piece of Mopani wood and I boiled it so that it wouldn't be releasing a bunch of tannins into the water. So we're gonna go ahead and stick all this stuff in. Starting actually with the rocks though, because those are heavier and bigger. I think I'm gonna leave it at that level for now because I don't have a new lid made for this tank yet. And so I don't want Hoku escaping if I fill the water too high. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that and I'm gonna go ahead and put the basking area on. Now in order to get the above tank basking area to fit, I did actually have to have my dad cut this piece of wood so that I could rest on it because this basking area is only like fits tanks less than 14 inches wide. And so we had to kind of do our own little thing in order to make it fit. So this is actually just gonna sit on top of the tank like this. And then we'll take our basking area. Oh, 
and it'll sit right on top like that. And the hope is that later on, I'll be able to either do something like this out of plastic or at least seal this wood so that the moisture won't cause any problems. But for short term right now, it should be just fine. It'll hold the basking area up until I can come up with a better solution, but it works pretty well. And you can see now the basking area is able to sit on there even though it doesn't reach all the way over to the lip. So now we've got those plugged in. We've got to plug in the filter and the heater. All right, so now with the tank running, we finally get the chance to put in Hoku. I, why do I almost keep calling him Nemo? I feel so bad. But now that the tank is finally set up, we get to put Hoku back in, see how he likes it. I'll actually give it a couple hours for the tank to clear up and not be as cloudy. And then we'll show you Hoku in his new 40 gallon breeder. You can see behind me the finished tank. I've let it run for a couple hours now in hopes that it would kind of clear up. It's still a little bit cloudy, but that's to be expected when you set up a new tank. Hoku really seems to be enjoying it. He now has a lot more surface area and space to swim around. I know we were only going from a 29 gallon to a 40 gallon, but because of the wider footprint of the 40 gallon, he has a lot more space to swim around. I thought I'd just talk a little bit about some of the stuff I have in here because I just put it together, but I didn't really tell you too much about what I was doing. So I thought we could just walk through that while you guys are here. So first of all, starting with the substrate, like I said, I'm using crushed coral. And then for the decorations, I'm just using the same decorations that I had in the 29 gallon. And then I just picked up a piece of Mopani wood from the pet store. I did boil it because although some people like the look of water that looks like tea because of the tannins, I didn't want that in my tank, so I did boil it a couple times. And so now you can see that that big piece of wood back there is the Mopani wood. For filtration, we're still using the AquaClear 70. I do plan on upgrading that to the Cascade 1000 once this is kind of more established, but I just decided I want to keep the media in there and everything in there. And I actually don't have new media for the Cascade 1000 yet, so I'm waiting for that so that I can actually set up that canister filter. That is the long-term goal with that, is to put the canister filter on this tank. But for right now, the 70 will do just fine. I'll make sure I'm staying on top of my water changes, testing my water, all those good things. And then for heating, I am still using the same heater. I believe it's 125 watts. I might add a second one or just up the wattage and get a new one. I'm really not sure yet. But because Hoku is now older, I'm really not as concerned concerned about the water needing to stay super duper warm like this heater does not need to warm the water to a super high temperature it's really just keeping it stable versus really heating it I guess so that's what the heater is in there and then basking still the same setup as you saw I did actually have to ask my dad for help in adjusting the basking area and cutting a piece of plywood so that it could actually fit on top of this tank because this basking area that I have this store-bought one is only big enough for like tanks up to 14 inches and really it only goes over the lip with tanks at 12 inches so we had to find a way to make that work so we just cut a piece of plywood to make it sit and rest on there so it could still work and then same masking lights all that good stuff heat uvb and i think it looks really good i'm super happy with how it turned out i know some of you might be concerned with my choice of stand here some of you don't really trust these Edsel racks, but so far it's looking pretty good. I would say if it holds for a day, it'll hold for, unless there's an earthquake. So that's a terrible way to, what is happening? Is that a pig? Anyway, it says it can hold up to 5,000 pounds if it's evenly distributed. I know that most people wouldn't trust that amount of weight, but this 40 gallon breeder, if water weighs about eight pounds a gallon, plus whatever weight that is in the substrate and the decorations and the basking area and all that, it probably isn't exceeding even 500 pounds. So I'm really not concerned too much about it being too heavy. So far, it's been holding up quite well and we'll see how it goes from here on out. But anyways, I'm super happy with how this 
all came together. I'm so glad that Hoku finally has a bigger tank. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is something I've literally wanted to do for over a year. I've wanted to upgrade him and I just haven't had the chance until now. So I'm really glad that now he has a bigger tank. I look forward to updating you guys on it and you know, showing you Hoku. You guys always enjoy seeing him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.